Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today's video I'm going to show you how to connect your Reliance wired broadband connection to a Wi-Fi router. I got a lot of uh, requests and questions regarding this, so I'm going to do a video on this. So let's get on to it. The first thing we need to determine is the type of Wi-Fi router. Basically, we need a normal type Wi-Fi router, not an ADSL type. To determine the same, this is the modem that Reliance provides us and this is the Ethernet cable that comes out. Uh, to determine if it's a Wi-Fi router, normal Wi-Fi router, a typical router, let me zoom in, will have ports something like this. These are the four Ethernet ports and this, uh, that's a separate port, this is known as the WAN port. Your Ethernet cable uh, that comes from your modem should go inside this WAN port. If it doesn't go and if this WAN port is really small, that means that you're using an ADSL type of uh, Wi-Fi router. Uh, I'm not going to show you how this will work because it's a really complicated and out of scope from this video and I want to make this video really simple to use. So for the connection, let's assume that you have a normal Wi-Fi router and you connect the Ethernet cable that comes from your Reliance broadband connection to the WAN port. Out of these, any of these four ports, you take another Ethernet cable and connect it here and connect the other end to your computer. This is the connection that you need to do on the hardware side. Now we have to do some software tinkering. Before we do anything, make sure that you are logged out of the Reliance port line. Uh, I'm assuming that you have connected the Wi-Fi router as shown in the video before and now we need to log on to your Wi-Fi router's interface. You might need to consult uh, your router's documentation on how to do that. It's typically uh, found on 192.168.1.1. Open up your browser. In my case, I have set my changed my default IP to 192.168.2.1. I'm using a Belkin router and, and if you're using the same brand, you'll look something like this. But if you're using some other brand, the interface will look a bit different, but that doesn't matter. These are the steps that you need to do. First thing we have to do is locate a connection type. Uh, it's generally on the internet uh, or the WAN option. Here we need to change uh, the connection type to dynamic. You might have other options like static, PPOP or whatever based upon your router. We need to use the dynamic or sometimes it is also known as DHCP. Select that and apply. The next thing you need to locate is the DNS. Um, basically you want your DNS service to be automatically assigned. So check mark the auto DNS thing. If uh, that option is not there, you need to use DNS server something like this. The first one put it as 124, 124.5.140 and secondary DNS I'm using a Google DNS you can use that it's 8.8.8.8. .8 I don't uh, prefer you that put uh, that you put a static uh, DNS address like this. I prefer that you use the automatic option if it's available. Um, now you just save all the settings on your router and reboot the same. And if, if everything is working fine, uh, after a minute or so, you should be able to log on to the Reliance portal and log on. But if that doesn't work, you need to do some additional steps and I'll show you that. Uh, go to something like, there is an option called Mac address cloning. Use that uh, and clone your address. And try again uh, after uh, applying the settings to your router and rebooting your router. If then also it doesn't work, you need to change the default IP of your wireless router. For example, you might need to change the, uh, generally the router stays on 192.168.1.1. One. And the problem is that Reliance router is also assigned the same IP. So there is an IP conflict generally. So you need to change it to something else. I have set mine to 192.168.2.1. Do I leave the subnet mask as the same 255, 255, 255 and 0. Uh, if there is a DHCP server, change that also. Make the starting IP as 192.168.2.2 and set an ending pool something higher and apply the settings and 
then you should be able to basically uh, log on to the Reliance broadband connection. Do note that uh, even while using a Wi-Fi router, your Reliance connection session that is will log out automatically after 24 hours. A Wi-Fi router will not solve that. After rebooting your router and when you have logged on to the Reliance portal, you should be able to use the net even when your main PC is switched off. You can use uh, the Wi-Fi connection of your router and use the internet connection on other Wi-Fi enabled devices. But I suggest that for logging on to the Reliance portal, you use only your main PC. I would love to know if the method shown in this video helps you to connect your Wi-Fi router and use your Reliance broadband connection. Please share your comments and suggestions in the comments section below. And if you think this video was helpful, please give a thumbs up. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com.